Let's talk about what is an objection. What is an objection? Objection is an opportunity. An objection is just an opportunity. Most of them are not real, just so you know. It's just an opportunity. People do, uh, raise them for all kinds of different reasons. Ego reasons, by time reasons. They're unsure, so they throw it up. Reflex reasons. All different kinds of things because they want to sound smart reasons. They're very rarely the truth. But, but they, they do provide an opportunity. And you know what the opportunity is? Not for you to win. It's an opportunity for you to build a relationship with them. That's what the, that's what the objection does. It creates an opportunity for, for you to build a deeper amount of rapport, a stronger relationship with them. The ultimate goal will end up educating them, but it's about the rapport. People join, join people they like and they trust. When the objection comes up, this is an opportunity. Sometimes an objection is a test. Let's see how much you believe in what it is that you've got. They bring up the objection, you fold. They go, ah, I was right. They didn't really believe it. Objection's an opportunity. Objections build relationships. Objections build rapport. Does that sound strange, that an objection builds relationships? What? Everybody should just get along. Everybody should just follow along. Everybody should just agree. Understand, we're, we are, not everybody's built entrepreneurially. Can we agree on that? Not everybody's been raised entrepreneurially. Some people like to, to say entrepreneurs are not made. Entrepreneurs are born. I think that's nonsense. I think entrepreneurs are made. But some people have some nat natural inclinations or whatever from, from early stage. But guess what, guess what network marketing is? It's a school for entrepreneurs. We raise up. It's an entrepreneur farm. We raise entrepreneurs. That's what we do for a living. Set them out on their way. Go do their thing. That's what we do. Right? So I'm, we're, we're taking people down a non-traditional path. They've been told their whole life to go get an education, go to work for somebody else, repeat that process for a period of time, and retire. That's what they've been trained. But it's a recent phenomenon. It's only been like the last hundred years that this employee thing has been the primary acceptable thing in the world. So entrepreneurialism is something different. Now, and on top of that, this type of entrepreneurialism is even different than that. If you want to spend $65,000 or whatever the cost is to open up a dry cleaner down the street, nobody put bats an eye. Go get them, tiger. But if you want to spend $500 to start a network marketing business, everybody has a heart attack. This is something different. So it's natural when it's something so different from the norm, it's natural for people to question it, to wonder, to want to get clarity, to push on it a little bit, to see what's really there, to see if it's for real.